And Wilkinson County Schools is letting parents choose learning options for their students fall semester. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker joins us live from the high school with updates on what parents and students need to know. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Aaron. Yes, the Wilkinson County School District has three options on the table for their instructional learning plans this upcoming year, but they're going to discuss those plans at their board meeting in just a couple of hours. I really do like the, the e-learning. School, going into the school setting would be fine. I just think not right now. I think that not not for the remaining of this school year anyway. Angie Coates helped her children make the transition to e-learning when Wilkinson County Schools closed, and now she's hesitant to send them back to in-person classes. If it's something that they want to try to push in 2021, then I'm more warm to that than more so them going right now. Superintendent Aaron Jeter is listening to parents and is looking to offer other instructional options other than returning to a full in-person schedule. Distant learning where the kids will actually be taught um, utilizing technology and they will not come to school at all. It will serve them at home. And then the last model is the hybrid model, which we're considering where the kids actually come to school a couple of days will alternate different groups to stay below that minimum number of kids that need to be in the building. With the hybrid schedule, they would use one day to clean the building each week. They plan to enforce social distancing rules and safety precautions. And of course, the spreading of the desk, um, requiring and asking the kids to, to provide themselves with masks. If not, we'll provide those. We'll do temperature checks on the bus as well as when they enter and exit the buildings. Coates is grateful that the district is letting parents have a say on the options. You hear these calls come through and they want in your opinion, wanting you to do a survey on whether your kids should stay at home, do remote learning, come to school some. Answer those questions. It makes a really, really big difference. Jeter says they did not pass out devices to students this past spring semester, but they are a one to one technology district, meaning that they have the ability to give each student a device who needs one. So they plan to hand those out at the beginning before the beginning of this school year. Reporting live in Wilkinson County, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Pepper. Parents can fill out applications on which instructional option they'd prefer on the district's website or pick up a copy at the board office. And a reminder to students in Bibb County, school leaders will soon release updated plans for that school year. Right now, parents and students can find a list of frequently asked questions online. The school district plans to introduce their plans for instruction and operations to the Board of Education on July 7th. Now, we did get a chance to speak with Superintendent Curtis Jones about their timeline earlier this week. You can find that story right now on 13WMAZ.com.